Hi Felters and welcome. I forgot to do a proper intro so I thought I'd just do it now. Um, this video is going to go through what I make in a month and towards the end we're going to go through some of your monthly makes as well. See you in a bit. Um, I'm making this guy and so he's going to be a sitting down Highland cow. He does look a bit funny at the moment but he will look good when he's done but I'm doing him out of uh, this tops because that's the one I want for the hair on top so I thought I'd better do it the same colour but oh my god it's hard work I forgot how difficult it is and yes you can see all the little needle marks and then there's quite a few faded patches where is it I have to cover oh it honestly there's a little bit there it takes ages to do so this is why um we use carded a lot it's so much easier but he is absolutely solid so that's quite nice but um yeah i'll show you how he comes along so this guy is done he didn't come out exactly how i wanted him to i was going to do him with just like a mad fringe um he's got a slightly different nose to normal and then this was all going to be sort of out he wasn't going to have a big coat on the top oh but it just didn't work and it didn't look right and you know it doesn't look right so anyway i've done him with a little light coat on top he's got a little tail um, and actually he looks really nice like that with his little front legs so i'm pleased with him in the end but it took longer than he should he's very firm he's lovely from that point of view but um sometimes you have to change your tact as you're going along to make him work so there we go hi felters so it's the 3rd of march so you've seen me do that highland cow which i talked about and now i'm i'm trying to design it just doesn't look like one i'm trying to design a llama um and it's going to be a sleeping llama or a sitting down llama but you think well it's obvious what they look like they've got this little round body and a bit of a neck and a round head and so i'm doing it and it just it doesn't really look like one until you sort of start to put the ears on so he's starting to come together a little bit more so i'll uh, keep going but it's interesting the design process where you think well, why why doesn't that look like a llama but keep going add the bits on and we'll see how he turns out so next morning coming along on the face still not looking fab still legless because i want to see what it'll look like legless but i'll keep going it still doesn't look right until you do the face here we are this is the lying down llama i was going to go with legless llama but i'll have a think about that one <laughs> um very sweet but i'm not sure i have redone him and given him or her little legs um, I think that's uh, just a little bit better. Just right. So legs are off again. Uh, don't judge me. <laughs> um, everyone thinks they look better with the legs off. So I'm just developing another one with the ears. Sorry, my dog's barking with the ears going backwards. <laughs> it looks so hilarious. It looks a bit like Princess Leia for a bit with these big things on the side. So um, yeah, just developing another one. And it's going to be a video and then so the next one I do I'll video as well but I think they're going to be not legless llamas they're going to be lazy llamas so I'll keep going with this morning it's the 8th of March um, and so I finished my llama video I was really pleased with my <laughs> lazy llamas um, and the video has gone down really well I finally decided on the no legs and as I said I'm going to do a PDF with legs because I think it'd be good I don't like this one as much but yeah definitely the white one he's really really sweet so I was really happy and it's a great technique for everybody to learn because you can do fantastic sheep with this technique it's a bit of a, a secret one so it's great so I was really happy with them um, and then I had a, um, about an hour or so last night and I thought what should I make so I made a mini and um, yeah, they don't take too long, but and it's really sweet. And I'm going to do a couple more minis because I really like them. I want to develop a mini range. But the thing is, it's a bit tricky because um, this one took me, what, an hour and a half. 
so I'd definitely sell them for at least 15 maybe 16 17 pounds this one took me an hour and a quarter so technically I'd still have to put him at at least 12 pounds and then so if you have one at 15 and one at 12 people will be like well that's tiny why is that 12 pounds but anyway that's where it's a bit tricky where you look at how much you're going to sell things for because this is bigger but didn't it's not technically too difficult whereas this is quite tricky with your fingers and everything it's quite hard to get all the little details in so um, but I'm going to make a couple more of these I've still got my horse's head to do which I haven't finished yet but um, I'll get on with that but yeah that's it so far mini one Ooh, nice and mini mini two not so many. I can't. I can't keep to the minis. I always get. They always get bigger. This mini is really cute. And this mini is a bit bigger. But anyway, I've used up some wool, which is good. Um, I got some new wool. I just can't resist it. I think I have a problem with buying wool. I think we all do, actually. When we start touching it, it's just so lovely. So I've got these nice pinks and I'm going to do some nice pink sheep at some point. Um, but yeah, absolutely lovely. I'll do some things with those. But uh, that, that's that for now. I'm going to get on with the horse's head and get that done. Quickly, I'm just going to show you. I finally have done a little bit more of the head. Starting to get the shape. The nostrils so this is going to be on a stand so it's like um, a headpiece one uh, it's coming along still quite a bit uh, quite a lot of work to do with this one obviously ears as well they don't sort of come together until they get ears but um, shaping up looks really cross hopefully I'll manage to soften out the eyes a bit here's the horse finally finished um yeah it's really sweet it's got some quite distinct markings on him but i'm really happy got to do the base um stand so he'll be on a, a round stand like that and um yeah this is going to be one of my horse courses that i'm going to do so with uh, do horses heads because i think it's a nice way for people to have their horses heads uh, presented instead of having to do a whole horse there you go just done a video on this guy really um, easy one to make um, basically you can do any um, fleece on the top of that and he'd look good so it's just a simple basic shape uh, just so I did him and I've just released that video and I've also released some shorts so you guys might be sort of thinking what on earth were those really quick videos that I did um, and they're shorts. Um, YouTube are promoting them a bit like if you think TikTok is all based on shorts and Instagram um, obviously so YouTube are trying to catch up so I've done some shorts and shorts can get taken and shown to an awful lot more people if you're lucky so hopefully um, that'll go well. Uh, just to show you as well, you see that little rosette? I got, um, I should do it, I suppose it is in my monthly makes. You know my, um, this is useless, to... my uh, needle felted Exmoor pony. He came third in the handicraft competition. So I was really, really, really pleased and there weren't just three people in it, which is good, because I did sort of think, you never know, there were at least nine or ten people in it. So I was really happy with that. Um, and now, I think over the weekend, because it is the 12th, gosh, it's the 12th already, uh, 12th of March, I'm going to do the Highland Cow Head PDF, although I haven't even done the Llama PDF yet. Just send up, I mean, just all day I've been doing one video and those shorts which they have to be in upright rather than landscape and it's just all it's quite tricky trying to get everything right but anyway uh onwards over the weekend hey felters so um you guys remember oh my god i can't get around i did that one and i said i was going to do a pdf 
I'm not. So um, I'm going to do my first online tutorial video that I'm going to put on Thinkific. So I'm doing a mini. So this is a mini version. And then I'm going to do an in-between one with these colours from Wild of World that I use an awful lot for Highland Cows. For the horse's head, that's one of the stands he's going to go on, I think. Um, you drill a hole in it and then you put a piece of wood through it. So um, I'm just making this one. I'm just doing the horns just to update you and we'll see how he looks. He looks rubbish at this stage. They always look really funny. But um, I'll get the horns done, hopefully finish him tonight. Um, and then one other thing that um, I'm really quite excited about, and I'm going to tell you, um, oh, I'll just show you my island cat not highland cow my longhorn cow not got the best head but the rest of it's quite sweet um well the there we go university let me get it right oxford university museum of natural history have contacted me and they would like me to do a small version for them to go in an exhibition that they are doing in may so i was really excited about that that's not one that i would um because I'm trying to reduce my custom orders because I'm just struggling to do everything and be creative. So um, but I couldn't say no to that. So I'm going to do that. So that's really exciting. I'll show you some of that process. I'm going to do it in a couple of weeks. So that'll be good. There we go. He's all finished. Um, very pleased with him. That was the big one. And then this is the smaller one. I'll just try and show you. So, you know, my hand sort of covers him. And then um, I'm waiting for the eyes to start the medium one because you always end up not having everything you need. Hi Felters, just to show you what has arrived. I'm so excited about these finally arriving. These are my pin badges and I have got a hundred of them. And I designed them and a company made them for me in America. These are going to be um, for, I think, my Patreon level two. When you join, you will get one of these. But there it is there. I just put it on the edge of my card because I didn't know. I'm just <laughs> getting ready to do Fabian the Fox. But um, I was so excited. But they're metal, but they're shiny. They're sort of, they're black. As you can see, they're black in there. But when you get a bit of light on them, they go a bit shiny. And the writing is all indented. And the heart is indented. They're little pin badges. They've got a little black pin thing on the back. So I am super God, I mean, super pleased because I've never done this before, but the company were fantastic. So um, I'm going to go through and quality control these because I've watched enough vlogs to know that you have to quality control things. And I might um, put them for sale on my shop as well, depending. I might keep 50 for that patron level because I'm going to limit the patron levels um, and I might put some in my shop. So there we go. It's the... 22nd of March so I finished Fabian Fox there he is I was I think I'm pleased with him I'm not 100% sure um the video went up so it took me a couple of days to make him and then a day to sort of do the video but I'm really happy with that all being done there's the next one I'm going to do Sheldon Sheep um I finally managed to finish my horse on his stand because I had to um <clears throat> varnish the stand and I'm really happy with how he's come out and I think it's nice actually on the stand so it's a good option instead of doing a whole horse and then I've just started the longhorn cow the small one so getting going with that here's the little um, longhorn coming along so I've got the big one as a size guide kind of originally they wanted the long one to be 10 centimeters so 10 centimeters is about there so that would be for me that would be tiny so I said oh could I push it to 15 so with head it's going to be 15 speaking of head so there's some of the head and the ears ready to go on and the horns so hopefully you can see the color there I've done a bit of reverse felting to bring out the dappleness because there's the longhorns there so coming along I'm quite enjoying 
the shape. I'm pleased with it so far. Here we go. Here's the little short horn with all the others. So you can see he is actually quite small. So, yeah, really pleased with him. And then I have just um, not finished, but mostly done. His head looks big there, but it's not. This little uh, sleeping lamb. So he's got a little foot, hoof and tail and his legs sticking out. And I'm waiting now. Um, he's a custom order, so I'm waiting for his the rest of his coat. So I use this um, blue-faced Lester. I've done a whole video on making a very similar sleeping lamb. Um, and this goes on all over and it looks like a, a really... Oh, lovely sunshine. Looks like a really good... Um, lamb's coat so I'm just going to have to wait for that little cute little sleeping lamb and now I'm going to do some multicoloured cows back to the old highland cows for a bit Someone's enjoying the sunshine with her very short, rubbish looking trim. Never mind. It's not a very good advert for my needle felting, is it? For trimming up. Um, I have finished the two cows. Um, this one is very uh, lilac y, and then this one is more rainbowy, tutti frutti. Um, but it's really difficult to, for the colours to show up, especially on video or on photos. And even, I don't think I'm going to put them on my Etsy shop, I think I'll just take them to the craft show. Because um, I think they'll look better for people to see them in person. It's very difficult to see the actual colours. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased with them. I just wanted to, to make them. I don't know why, but yeah, I'm really happy with those. Um, I've just made this little bunny. I think he's sweet. My daughter really liked him, so I always put that as a benchmark of it's worked and it's okay. So um, he's going to be a video that I'm going to do because I've got still got that colour from Crafty Fibres and I've got this lovely grey. So I'm going to do um, a video on how to make a bunny because it's Easter. Here we are. So these are... Oh, sorry. We just had a power cut, so I'm just trying to do this by the window. Um, these are the two bunnies. The I did a third one, a white one, but that's been kidnapped by my daughter already. So here we go. So the grey one came out really, really well, really pleased. Um, and I've just uploaded that video and hopefully it will go well. Um, so this is the end of my monthly makes because oh, it's the 27th and I'm, I'm really tired. So I'll go over to your monthly makes. So first up I have something it was a little bit indulgent of me to get and I haven't told my husband because I don't think they'll understand. I bought this. It's so cute and adorable and so well felted as well. It's fantastic. It's absolutely solid. It's a lady who has um, a page on Instagram called PD Felts and she sells them in the Orkney Tweed shop. Um, so if you're ever in Orkney you can go in and you'll see them. But look at the little windows got little side windows and a roof and there's a window there and she sent this with a little piece of slate so I could display it so that's really good um so beautiful just remember that that's her copyright and design but I was so impressed with it um I couldn't resist it and I really think they're adorable I'll show you some of her page now so this is her Instagram page PD Fouts this is um that's the house on the left there. That's the one that I've got. So she's a single story, double story. And uh, Orkney Islands is the top of Scotland, by the way. And look at the scenery, as you'd imagine, living by the coast. It's absolutely beautiful. And then these are little bothies as well, which I think are beautiful. So thank you so much, PD Felts. 
Next up, we have the fantastic Collie's Cows, which are LGBT Pride cows. And she's taken the Pride colours and applied them to the Highland Cow sort of design that I have. And it's really great. I don't think she's been felting that long either. But look at how clear the colours are, how defined they are. The next cow, this is Strawberry Cow. I think this is adorable. I think this is a really good theme. Um, and beautifully executed as well. I love the little green hat. And then we've got the LGBT lesbian pride cows, again, which the colours are so distinctive, but they do look really good. So uh, she's done a fantastic job. Collie's cows by taking a design and making it her own. So well done. And last up, we have Claire from Mard Arts. Now, Claire has only been needle felting for about seven or eight weeks, I think, at this point in time. And look at her felts. They're really good. She has an Etsy shop that she um, sells her felts on. And this is one of her valets. And I love my valets. Um, but this has got great character. The ears are lovely. It's got really, she's used a really good wool. So well done on that. And that's one of the Highland cows. Um, this is one of her chipmunks. And for a beginner, if you just look at the detail for the eyes and the whiskers and the feet, um, really good felting. So very characterful. And that deer as well is really pretty. The spots sort of bring it to life and make it look really good. So very impressed. I had a little look on her Etsy shop and this unicorn head has been sold and there's a beautiful review there's a little girl holding it who looks so happy with it and rightly so because it's beautiful it's um a lovely shop and uh, really well done claire really impressed that was march i hope you enjoyed it thank you for watching thank you for all your monthly makes as well they are so lovely to see and if you'd like to be included in next month's just send me a message instagram is probably easiest i'm felt by philippa on that um I am going to do the studio vlog next. That's going to include all the facts and figures and everything about my business if you're interested. And then I'm going to be talking about Patreon, which is going to la launch next month. And there's going to be two sort of quite low levels on that. People that would like to know more about the business and people that would like to do a little bit more to do with the needle felting. And there's some fun free gifts with that as well. So I'll talk through about that next time. But that's it from me. See you again next month and take care, everybody.